remember. I know. At the beginning of the season, and where we are today is incredible. I know. Yeah. Who would have thought, right? All right, so getting a flat tire, it's a headache, right? But some residents in Springdale say it is happening a lot because they believe it's intentional. Nails like this being thrown all over the road. Yeah, one man we talked with says his wife found over 100 nails scattered along Crescentville Road, and that's where our Chancellor Wynn joins us live. Yeah, as you can imagine, people living along East Crescentville Road are growing more and more frustrated because they keep finding these nails. Now, these are ones that a man gave me. He says he saw a person that appeared to be throwing nails into the roadway. His wife and him picked them up, and they collected what they say was 120 nails. Now, this has been an ongoing issue that neighbors say has been happening for years. I spoke to multiple neighbors who all tell me they've had to repair or replace multiple tires on their cars. Drivers along East Crescentville Road have had enough of running over nails. It's costing a lot of people a lot of money. Tony Mount says someone is deliberately throwing the nails out into the street. You got to catch them in the act to do it, to get them to stop. But please do stop. Just a few days ago, Mount says he saw a person, possibly a kid, appearing to toss nails onto East Crescentville Road. I had fixed a tire that morning and seen a kid and, and walked in the street and went out and the road was covered with these nails again. And it just keeps going on. Mount says he and his wife picked up a bag full of nails. My wife counted them, 120. One resident along East Crescentville Road tells me she found seven nails in her tire and Mount says he's had to replace or repair eight tires on his vehicles. These nails on the road have been, been, been thrown out and thrown out for going on three years now. In fact, in November of 2020, Fox 19 now covered the story, finding the same type of nails then as residents are finding now, nearly three years later. They're always the same thing. The ones we picked up on the street that day, they were brand new and they weren't rusted at all because they were just thrown out. Now, I want you to take a look at these nails one more time because when we were discussing them with that resident, he said you can tell like they are brand new, very shiny, no rust on them at all. He called them carpet nails, while another resident said they were called flooring nails. But however you classify them, you can imagine drivers in this area are still very, very frustrated. We actually spoke to Sharonville Police. They say multiple complaints have been made about this issue, and two neighbors actually tell me today they had a detective stop by their house. Reporting live in Crescentville, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chance, thank you. Horse deaths have rocked the racing world.